Do I love New York or do I love New York? I mean, this city is literally the testimony to the grandeur of our profession. Just look around. That's all your work, every solitary building. I mean, you do stuff that actually makes things stand. It's, when you start thinking about that, it's, it's miraculous. I mean, it's only because of you that we actually have an economic infrastructure. You give people ways to arrive at work and then to work in an amazing building like this one, which doesn't sway around in the wind and make you seasick. These things are just taken for granted. You know, people are totally blown away when they find what you do. I mean, when people ask me, what do you do? I say, I create mathematical models of building them bridges in the computer memory. I blow wind on them, shake them with earthquakes. And the software tells me which portions of the building are gonna break apart. So I can fix them before it's even built. And they look at you. Are you some kind of a genius or what? But you see, people don't know. People have no idea what we do. Because we don't invite them. Our conventions are about us. We all get together, talk about the amazing things that we do, pat each other on the back and go home. Meanwhile, outside, nobody has any idea what we do. We need to invite outsiders. Bring them to a party. Make them feel amazing. When they come to an event where they come in and look Oh my God, look at this event. It's better than Hollywood and I was invited. This party is to celebrate our amazing profession, but more importantly, it's to celebrate every one of you. The beauty about your profession is that you make life better for all of humanity on a daily basis. So let's have an incredibly big hand for all of us. I don't know how many of you has, have heard of the name Simon Sinek, but he talks about the concept of, of belief. And how important is it to have beliefs? When you're sitting out there alone, you and your thoughts, do you really seriously believe that your profession is actually a gift to humanity? Do you really believe that? Because I do. I'm so convinced. I mean, I come to a city like New York or Chicago and I just look around and marvel at all of these things that are just standing. And the second thing is, it's important to get out there and talk about your beliefs. Because you see, when you talk about your beliefs, something magical happens. You attract people around you that believe what you believe. And why is that important? That's important because when you're surrounded by people that believe what you believe, they will do what you want them to do without you even asking them to do it. Not because you want them to, they do it because that's their belief. Believe that you are actually creating something that changes humanity, or serves humanity, or is a gift to humanity. As Steve Jobs would put it, something that puts a dent in the universe. And when you get out there and talk about your beliefs with passion, you convert people that don't even believe what you believe into believing what you believe. And at that point, you will get paid what you deserve to be paid, not because you're asking for it, because that is their belief. They believe that you deserve it. But it has to start from you. You've got to have a sense of belief that you get out there and talk and celebrate.